Well, my name's Jenny. I'm just over 20 weeks pregnant and I chose to use the pregnancy smoking helpline. I just decided to give them a call because I tried to give up before not being successful. So I thought I'm pregnant, so that's probably one of the best reasons to do it, to stop smoking. The Pregnancy Smoking Helpline is a service that pro provides counselling support and help for pregnant women. We have a helpline that's open seven days a week from 12 o'clock till 9 o'clock. We send out literature to pregnant women, we give them referral to their local stop smoking clinics and we have a callback service where we have ongoing support throughout their pregnancy. I went for the telephone service because I've got three children. I would find it difficult to get out to meetings on a regular basis to speak to people, whereas a phone call is easy, it's there, it's always available, so chose it for that reason. Hello. Oh, hello Jenny. I'm just ready to find out how you're getting on with stopping smoking. I'm, I'm doing good at the moment after a few problems, I'm, I'm doing quite well. Yeah. The initial uh, thing that I thought was they might think bad of me, even someone I didn't know would think you're pregnant, you shouldn't be smoking. Sometimes women can feel a bit alienated. They feel guilty because they're smoking. They feel maybe their partners don't understand. They feel that maybe society is looking at them funny. And we're there to really give them the support without any judgment, but really just to be there for them so that they can talk to us about their difficulties and feel supported. You mentioned that you had a few problems. I just had a few personal issues where that I was quite stressed and I felt like I needed a cigarette and I silly I actually had a cigarette rather than call you. I guess you know that if you'd called us then uh, it might have made a bit of a difference. Rather than telling me how bad it was that I was smoking, they focused on how good it was that I wanted to stop smoking. They were just very encouraging. The helpline's just been there to listen to me um, when I have had problems. They've asked me how I've been coping, how I've dealt with particular situations. You can't think of um, what you could do instead, so it's a good idea to pre-plan um, small distractions. If they've had a relapse and they feel that they've blown it, to be able to work with them and get them back on track and so that they go away feeling positive and feeling, yes, I can do that, then that makes us feel that we've done our job. It's been a while now, so it's not so difficult it's not so much of an issue I don't it's a passing thought in my head that I want a cigarette and then it just goes again so keep up the good work and we'll speak to you soon all right thank you very much okay bye then bye it's just good to know that there's someone there to rather than having to <laughs> sort it by yourself for expert advice and ways to go smoke free call the NHS pregnancy smoking helpline 0800 169 9169 they have specialist advisors who can help you or talk to your GP, midwife or health visitor. They can tell you what's on offer locally.